Okay, today we're gonna to be working on testing a battery's voltage. Uh, this is probably the most basic test that you can use to start to determine whether your batteries are good or bad. So the first thing we wanna do is remove our battery, our battery nuts, our battery. So we have our positive and our negative. For this, I try to always utilize a ratchet with a rubberized end because as I'm swinging a ratchet, especially if I'm on my when I'm on my positive side, if I touch anything like this battery hold down or that uh, ground on another battery, then I'm going to uh, arc my ratchet. So I wanna make sure that I'm being super aware of my ratchet end. So, I just use a rubberized one. Uh, not to say I don't pay attention, but I still just use this for extra precaution. So, quickly. Okay, on my ground side, I have don't really need to worry about my cable placement. I can kind of just put it anywhere because this, there is really no arc hazard. I do have to be aware of my positive side, however, because um, they're still connected to other batteries in the parallel circuit. So until I get it completely apart, I need to be super cautious of where I'm putting my cables at. I'm gonna get my multimeter out. Set it to set it to DC. Now I highly suggest people get uh, batteries with back. I mean, I said battery uh, multimeters with backlit displays because a lot of times you're going to end up working underneath a truck. So a battery with a back. I mean, I keep saying battery. A multimeter with a backlit display will do you. Uh, a, a great service because it's pretty dark underneath trucks. So I'm gonna sit that down. I'm gonna go take my red battery in, touch it to positive. My black in, go to the negative side. So I'm getting a voltage reading of four point four nine volts. So with a reading that low, I really don't need to go any further. Um, it's pretty much telling me that the battery, that this battery is bad. Um, when I'm working on tr a truck that has a parallel circuit such as this one, if I have one bad battery, I'm gonna assume I probably need to change them all. Um, in future videos, we will go through load testing. I'll actually, uh, do a load test and conductance test on the other batteries in this circuit. Uh, now that we found one bad one, or one that is pretty safe to say is bad, uh, we'll go ahead and do a little bit further uh, testing. All right, see you in the next video.